Welcome back to Silver and Black today here on CBS Sports Radio 1140. We go out on the Newsmaker line and are joined now by veteran Raiders cornerback Nevin Lawson, who enters his second season in the Silver and Black after five seasons with the Detroit Lions, who drafted him out of Utah State. Nevin, welcome to the show. And what's the, and I, I got to tell you, man, um, I just, you know, I was going to talk football with you first, but I, I'm going to switch it around. I want to talk about charity. You've been doing some amazing work uh, down in Florida during all this when the, when the country's needed so much and our communities have needed so much help, whether it's this, whether it's the issues we've had um, with unrest in the country. Talk a little bit about the Nevin Lawson Foundation, first of all, and what you guys are doing down there in Broward County. Hey, man, how you guys doing, man? Um, so, yeah, uh, my foundation is uh, Nevin Lawson Foundation. And um, what it is is just um, the, the main thing is for, for us to, to build a relationship with government agencies and also indulge in helping the at-risk youth. Um, and we've been doing a lot of work for a while now. Um, sometimes, you know, we go outside of the, the, the foundation work, like I built the school in Jamaica last year. But um, so far, you know, um, we, we wanted to help the healthcare workers during the COVID-19, so we provided them lunch from um, Chick-fil-A. And actually, that was me and my teammate, Trayvon Mullen, that team up and did that. Um, we provided uh, meals as well for the during during the pandemic as well um, for the, the, the firefighters that's down here in Broward County. Um, and we've been doing a lot of different works as far as for the youth. Um, it's a it's a government um, sponsored uh, program that's called Urban Urban League that's helping yeah. the at risk youth down here in South Florida. So what it does is you know they. They fund and build programs for them, which is an awesome program where they help them, where they could go after school and they could do different programs as far as entrepreneurship, coding. Um, if you want to learn about real estate, if you need to learn how to uh, um, prep for taking a test to get into certain colleges or whatever it is. So, you know, we did things like that as far as just helping those kids, um, give them a certain gift card for their graduation, speaking to them, just continue to encourage them and un- let them understand that education is very powerful for 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 them to continue in their life um and and I feel like that's very important for me because that helps them to be informed and the only way you could really be informed in this world is by learning and by educating yourself so that's a big thing for me man and we're just going to continue to do the best that we can to to help people that's in need because it's it's just it's bigger than that just, uh, you know, so we're going to continue to grind and, and do my part. Well, and, and Nevin, that, that's amazing, man, because, you know, through, through all the discussions we're having right now in this country around all kinds of issues, um, that's what it takes. It takes uh, young men like you to step up and do things throughout his community in so many different ways. And, and, and I commend you for that. And it's amazing to, to from the COVID stuff to the, what you're doing in the community with youth. It's huge because, you know what, all the all the things that happen in life, all the thing, the negative things, I think, can, can be be caught early if we if we teach our kids well if we get them on the right path give them a, a, a step up when we can especially for those of us who've who've done well in life and have the opportunity to do so we got to do it so thank you for doing that man that's that's amazing work and and we we commend you for doing that uh and it's the raider way too by the way raiders organization has been doing that for a long time all right buddy let's now switch to football Last year, no question, you know, yep. the defense struggled towards the end of the season, injuries, all kinds of things. Mike Mayock, Coach Gruden went out. They got you help. They built up the front. They built up the middle of the defense, got you some help in the back. What's your feeling on this defensive unit? I know it's tough with with, with uh, no in-person workouts and things like that, but what's your feeling about this unit uh, as you get uh, really ready for training camp, hopefully here starting next month? Oh, man, I'm, I'm... – to be honest, I feel like it's a very exciting time for us, especially as a as a whole team, but as the defense. I feel like our expectation is very high, not just from the outside, but just for ourselves. We feel like if we we don't put ourselves in a position to be able to compete for a championship, it's a failure. And um, and I'm speaking more so for the defense and but it's really coming more for us for this from the secondary i feel like it's a lot of high expectation from us in the back end to to really step up and perform because at the end of the day games games in this league nowadays the way how the, the ball game is played is 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 
is one in the passing game, and we feel like we have to step up as a secondary and, and, and do what we have to do to in order to help this team to be where we need to be, which we know we could be because we have the talent all around us to, to exceed expectation of from the outside, but to accomplish our expectation that we have upon ourselves. Hey, Nevin, uh, Evan Grote here. I, I want to commend you on the, the work you're doing with your foundation. That's It's great stuff. Uh, I want to talk about training camp right. here for a minute. When, when you walk into that cornerback room come training camp time, you're going to be surrounded by a lot of young first- and second-year guys who, who lack the experience that you have in the league. When you consider the lack of an off-season program that you guys have had due to the COVID uh, pandemic, the young guys are going to lean on, on, on veterans like yourself. Tell us, are you ready to embrace your role as a leader and mentor? Oh, definitely, definitely. And they know that, too. They know that if anything – they want to ask me or any any areas they need help in, they know that I'll be there. It don't matter what it is. Even if we compete for the same spot, I feel like you you. I'm confident in myself that I know whatever I do on the field will 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 speak for itself. So I'll never hold back any information to help my teammate because end of the day, me me holding back information to help my teammate could could help us win a help us or lose a ball game you know what i'm saying so you always want to give your 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 teammates as much information and much help and the better your teammates are around you the better your team is so i feel like that's very important for me especially going on year seven and, and what i have seen in this league to to make sure i could give that information or help any guys any young guys that need the, that help and and it's vice versa just because you're a veteran doesn't mean you have seen it all. You might have some young guys that have seen some things that you haven't seen. So I could piggyback off them and say, oh, wow, how you see that or how you look at that situation or whatever it is. So I can learn from them as well. And we're talking again to Raiders cornerback Nevin Lawson. Nevin, uh, you mentioned some of the, the, the players that were brought in, and there's a lot of talent that has been put on the defensive side of the ball, and uh, for good reason. Obviously, the defense needs to, needs to continue to improve, but how competitive? Well, first of all, what are your thoughts on, on the talent that was brought in around you, and then how competitive do you believe it's going to be in training camp with all these new guys there on the roster? Man, I feel like we, have, we brought in uh, some very competitive, great football players, which I, I, I really was excited about when we picked them. Uh, I feel like Arnett is going to be a stud, and I feel like uh, Amik is uh, hes just a dog. I feel like he's going to be a great player as well. Um, and it's going to be very competitive, man. It's going to be very competitive, which you want for a football team. At the end of the day, it, it, if the name of the game, especially if I'm a, a general manager or head coach, I want the best players and a very competitive roster. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be very competitive, man. And at the end of the day, man, um, I feel like the – the, the the best men that's that's built for the job will will show at the end of the day, and I I know it's going to make us a better football team and and it's going to make us a better secondary in the back end. No doubt, Nevin. And before we let you go, um, tell me about you know the virtual workout thing. I mean, it's it's tough for everybody, but but how, how are you guys? I know you're having lots of meetings on Zoom and all that kind of stuff, but how is that camaraderie, especially with some new guys on board? Are you are you, are you feeling it yet? Or are you guys just itching to get together so you can start working on it in person? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we've been doing a great job, and that's uh, got to give kudos to our uh, secondary coach Jim O'Neill and uh, Coach Tabor. Um, they do a great job of of of, of making the, the the meetings very interactive, where we're we're talking to each other. Um, so um, it's, it's it's it was challenging at first, but as as we continue to get going with it, we continue to get better. Um, and I feel like it was great this off season. I felt like we we did pretty well with this whole virtual meetings throughout this whole off season program. Um, I can't speak for no any other team, but I know for us as Raiders, especially in secondary, I feel like we had very productive meetings, and I feel like the learning went well for not just the the, the veteran guys, but even for the new guys that's coming on board. 
That's great to know, man. And we, we can't wait to get you back out here to Las Vegas. I know, uh, again, it's it's going to be fun. Uh, the stadium is almost done. That that Your new home, your new facility is almost done. It's going to be a blast, man. And I know uh, it's going to be fun watching you out there. And again, want to thank you for all you're doing in your community. And we look forward to getting you back out on the football field here real soon. Thank you, guys, man. I appreciate it. And once again, baby, go Raiders. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. That was Raiders cornerback Nevin Lawson. Uh, good fun. Good guy. Doing great work and really understands what it's all about. All right. We're going to step aside. When we come back, David Strauss. 